Daybird here, leaving a little bit of time for the intro to play. So uh, we're getting ready to do this, but first off, you know, intros. I'm Jay Bird. Jojo. An old wolf man. <laughs> yeah, this came in the mail. It's a munch pack. For all y'all that might not know it, which is all over the intro net, people, you know, make YouTube videos just on these, but they got their information on uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and you can see the little face. It's going to be random. We don't know where this came from yet, because JoJo got it in the mail, and I'm like, nope, you got to wait until we get there. So she's going to open this up. And we're going to find out where this one come from. What country do you, are you most excited to look for? South Korea. You want South Korea? I, I really do like those Asian countries as well. So maybe some Indonesian food? Me, yeah, I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's just got to be something salty and yummy. All right. You ready? Yep. Featuring snacks from Argentina. <laughs> Argentina, Taiwan, Italy, and more. Oh, it tells you which each one is from. So it's not just one place. So this lemon soda is from... It looks like Sprite, almost. Like Italy. Is this from the United States? Because uh, we got peace here. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, yeah, USA. <laughs> yep, Hawaiian Punch. Hawaiian Punch fruit juice, or fruit... Well, yeah, let's see. Shimmy Cocoa Corn. Where is Shimmy Cocoa Corn? Shimmy Cocoa Corn Japan. from Japan. So we're going to start off with Japan. I say we put everything back in there and grab one at a yeah. time. That's why I was about to say she was thinking just like her daddy. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with Japan. A light, crispy, and chocolatey puffed corn snack. They're like Cocoa Puffs intensified. Pair with a glass of milk or enjoy them in a cereal bowl. It's from Japan. Well, we ain't going to do that. We need... Something, I guess we can use this like parchment right here, lay it on the table so I don't, so we can, we can lay this out. Ew. <laughs> hey, there's exactly two of these fruit chillers. They look like giant chocolate stars. Yeah, giant Cocoa Krispies. They smell like Cocoa Puffs. Oh, yes. They taste like it too. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> now, you know what this reminds me of? Chocolate wafers. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say, chocolate wafers. It is a chocolate wafer. I'm, I'm moving to Japan, and I'm going to find where they make these, and I'm just going to live right there. Mr. Brownie Blondies. It is from Spain. These brownies are moist, rich, oh, and no. made with real Belgian chocolate oh, chips. Yes, sir. They're individually okay. wrapped to help preserve freshness. Try one hot, you'll love it. Should we try it hot? Nah, we're trying everything by the seat of our pants. We're, we're pretending like we just got this random box and we're starving. There's no food in the house. There's starving kids. All right, there's only two of these. Ooh, that looks weird. Let's make sure it don't have nothing in it that I'm allergic to. Uh, it's in a different language, probably. And the nutrition facts should corn, eggs, oil, chocolate. Like Cocoa it. butter. You're fine. I don't see it. Yeah, it does yeah, not contain that. any coconut. Well, it says it may contain traces of coconut and milk. Are you going to test it? So, so we're going to let him do a little piece. Yeah, you yeah do I'll, a little I'll do a little piece. piece. One of them can do a big piece. It is. It's like a really soft. It's cook. soft, but it's very. Whoa! At, at the same time, I kind of think it's a little dry. Mm -hmm. Not the top. It tastes dusty. Well, that that's just maybe, that, maybe, that, maybe that's like what a, it is. It's more like a dry taste to me. Yeah, I have like a dust taste, like. Like it's been setting out in the air too long. If this didn't have chocolate in it, I'd give it to you, Toby. Yeah. Doggies should probably love this, wouldn't you? What's next? I want to see that big bag. This bag? Because okay. it just looks like lemon grab on the front. Let me, let me see what that is. Or some kind of SpongeBob characters up there for y'all um, in the intro net world. Wait, let me see that. 
That is packaged in product of Taiwan. Yeah, it's in from it's a substitute snack. Because apparently you put something in here that you said you can't have. This is a Quakia Palinki corn soup flavor. Crisp, crunchy corn snack triangles with a mildly sweet and savory buttery corn flavor from Taiwan. Well, I know that just from the picture of them on the package, they remind me of the 3D Doritos. Remember those? Yeah. To me, it kind of looks like the ones that we have here. Uh, ooh, that we always Very make. sweet corn forwards in the smell. I really like the smell of this one. There's going to be a lot of sweet. Save some of these for later. Ew. I like the smell. Smells like corn. Let me smell the bag. Smells like sweet corn. I hate corn. It don't smell like corn to me. It smells like. These corn smell plates. different than the bag. Yeah. And it, it tastes like canned corn sweet in a chip. Can, sweet canned yeah, corn. Yeah, sweet corn with a little bit of butter. If they had a little bit more cheese, maybe. You I, I love it. one. Toby, tell him to sit. Sit. Good boy. You want to try one? He loves corn. Well, me and Mikey really like these. I wouldn't say I really <laughs> hey, like them. That's my son. He put it down. <laughs> it's a corn flavored bugle. Exactly. And I don't like corn. Alright. So what's next? We'll do this um this croissant croissant. Okay, this is from Poland. A crisp croissant caramel. If you're craving a tasty caramel filled chocolate caramel filled croissant, no need to go to your local bakery. This fluffy, flaky croissant Ooh. is packed. Packed with both buttery flavor on the outside and sweet creaminess on the inside. Oh man, that does From right. Poland. I'm not big on croissants. Pick your poison. It, it's a texture thing. You're gonna get but I like the caramel, like I like butter. <laughs> I like That's the one I wanted. I wanted to get the one with all the cream and filling. Oh man, it's like a Boston cream in the middle. I never have to think about corn again. This totally covers that flavor. It's got a cream. Try it with the cream. Yeah. That's what I did. Do you have it? Yeah, we well, have cream that goes all the way I through. I a tiny bit. Now there's none left. It's empty. I really like that one. But for croissants, I'm not big on I like that one. It was very moist. It wasn't too dry. Mm. I'm really excited for that one because I've seen those before. So Poland is good. I have no idea how to pronounce that. <laughs> Dolce, I know, Oblita, Dolce de Leche, which means coffee with cream. What he said, from Argentina, Argentina, if wafers are just sweet sandwiches, they must be okay to eat for lunch, right? This crunchy wafer sandwich is filled with sweet milk cream for the best snack lunch possible, from Argentina. Because we, my sister used to always say she needs cafe con leche, which, cafe being coffee, and the lake chain and cream, so. It smells good. It, it is like a wafer. It's one of those wafers. Mm. Now, I could definitely see pairing that with like a cappuccino and making this like a little snack time. Mm. It almost takes Coke in the flavor. Oh, no. Yeah, you never that. <laughs> I mean, it's strong. Yeah, it does have a real strong coconut. Well, if I could speak a different language, contains soy and traces of milk, peanut, and egg. Okay, it's good. Okay. I'm going to let you three, or you two pick this snack. There's three left. Let me tell you what you, each one is from. Well, is Miss Vicky's, we can get those at Subway. Canada, or... Canada, <coughs> and then Spain. Well, let's go to Spain before we go to okay. our brethren up. Beanie Tornadoes Berry Berry. Licorice ropes with six berry flavors in every bite. From Spain's number one candy maker, these tornadoes are more flavorful than your average licorice. Alrighty, everybody grab a stick. Looks like there's quite a few and they smell fruity already. Oh, they smell really good. Good. Mm. What 
What is the white cream in there with them? Cream? Oh, cream. <laughs> <laughs> What's the white cream? Cream. What's that cream? Cream. What flavor is it though? Cream. Cream. <laughs> Go yeah, for I'm it. I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> no, you ain't. You're going to edit that out, really? Just for that, I'm leaving it in. <laughs> Remember, that's my PhD quote. Go ahead and throw it out. But loves that. But he Because he always says it, but he never does. They never edit nothing out. <laughs> we only ever edit it, really. She might throw some funny stuff in. That's a really good one. Not a whole lot of editing. You want to do this one real quick since it's US? Hawaiian Punch Fruit Snacks. Let me read the description. I'll grab you another one for later, and that way that's two apiece for everybody. She can have mine. Hawaiian Punch Candy Jellies. Fruit, Juicy Red, Orange Ocean, Lemon Berry Squeeze, Green Berry Rush, and Berry Blue Typhoon. No matter which flavor is your jam, you'll be <coughs> satisfied with these chewy jelly candies. I've actually never had these, so. So they're... Oh, they're gummy. Yeah, from the U.S. From the picture, kind of look like maybe... Like the uh, uh, jelly beans with the sugar on them, but no, these things like jellies. Open them. They're from the U.S. So you're gonna I ain't worried about them. Yeah. <laughs> Blue. Ew. They're squishy. It feels like mochi. Like a dense mochi. Jelly candy. Blue. I don't even try blue. You know, my favorite color is blue. It's my favorite color, too. Her mama, like, sibling shade, she like purple. That's why me and her got on, on our stuff. That's really good. Well. The pink ones are my favorite. What? I had two. I have a red one. I hate orange flavored things. Take it away. I'm not big on orange either. So, Mikey's going to help me put away this. Well, it's from America, so it's not a big deal. Okay. Yeah. Our country don't matter. <laughs> we do, love America. Do we want to do a chip or a, a wafer? Have y'all ever had those? I've never had these, Miss Vicky. I've had their jalapeno ones. But these are honey Dijon. And I don't know what that might be. Another way for saying honey Dijon. Because they do speak a lot of French. So I'm assuming with it being from Canada... That miel et Dijon means yeah honey, honey Dijon dish. honey mustard or mustard Dijon. Well, we I want a little bitty wafer or some chips. I say well, let's chips do, for last. I say do the chips and save the sweetness for last. At least if we don't like the chips, we got the sweetness to back it up. Yeah. So you want me to read this real quick? Yeah. Miss Vicky's honey Dijon kettle chips. Kettle cooked potato chips with a balanced combination. Of sweet honey and delicate savory Dijon mustard flavor in every crunchy bite. I don't like mustard very much. Me neither. I like honey mustard. <laughs> oh, these are right up my alley. I like them. That's a vinegary taste. I hate vinegar. I love that taste. Oh, you don't like vinegar? I hate vinegar. I got really bad sunburn one time. My bad. And I got it poured all over my body. Oops. Let me read. Go ahead and read. I'm just opening it. What is it again? So, am I the only one that really likes these? Yeah. Yep, yeah, you can keep that. This is going to be my treat, too. This I is might a like these, too. Rip Van Waffles Cookies and Cream. This was at the McDonald's thingy and I couldn't pronounce it then either. Strapoof. Are made between a layer of syrup between Strapoof. two wafers and usually enjoyed over hot coffee or tea. Indulge yeah. in a new version of milk yeah. cookies. This is from Canada. That's yeah, a strusel. All right, pick your I'm food. getting the big one because I paid for it. <laughs> I'll let you have the bigger of them too. It smells like, um, the chocolate of a, like the ice cream. Tastes like a dusty old Oreo. 
That's kind of what it reminds me of. Without cream filling. You know, like a soft Oreo cookie without cream. Yep. Like the generic. Like a generic. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go to the Italian soda. Maybe this will wash some of this taste down. I'll let her read it while I open and pour a little into the glasses. I cannot pronounce this, so I'm going to butcher it. Terme di Croto Lemon Soda. Made using lemons only from Italy, mixed with the light fizz of a traditional tonic water. This drink, this drink brings just enough sweetness to leave you wanting more. Well, yeah, it's a lemonade look. It makes me think of like Sierra Mist. Ooh. But with the carbon, you know, because of the carbonation. Smell it. Oh man, it smells like, smells like 7-Up. You know how they went all natural for 7-Up? Mm. Very raw lemon. Oh, I like it. Cause I love really strong lemon. Should I just shot it? That's what I just did. <laughs> I want it to last. <laughs> <laughs> I don't taste no aftertaste. Take Shoot it. it. Shoot it. Now breathe. What was your favorite thing out of the whole box? I don't know. There's three things that got my attention. What? That being one of them. Yeah, the candy. I did like this. The, the chocolate stars. And this croissant was the cream filling in the middle of that was like on top. Mm -hmm. It was like now this no. I love <laughs> I love the drink. I like everything we ate here it, today. It tastes like lemonade with soda water instead yeah. of regular water for me. I mean, I didn't care too much for that last wafer. Love yourselves. Love each other. Love your God. Take time. Look out your window. Do something crazy. Say something crazy. Eat something crazy. Learn a different language. Exactly. Just do something. Do whatever makes you happy. Peace out. <laughs> Bye.